Hello and welcome to a new series in Prison Architect. This is going to be Season 3 with us here in the game. We're in our previous prison we built in Season 2. And what we have to do very first thing is sell it. And guess what? It's worth a million bucks. So we're going to call this Season 3 the Million Dollar Prison Build. Go ahead, hit that sell button. And now we've got to pick all of our different settings that we're going to work with. Uh, just going to keep the regular classic uniforms. But there was a new warden I wanted to try. Uh, this... Uh, uh, which one is the... Uh, oh, the, it was this guy, yeah. It says, The pacifier has an unusual talent for being able to calm even the most violent individuals. Even being in the same room as him is enough to make people docile and compliant. And he actually makes the prison cooler, so uh, they're less likely to cause trouble, I guess. Uh, he's a giant refrigerator or something, so whatever. Uh, but we'll, we'll go with this guy. And then, of course, all dogs are good dogs. Hit that button. I love I love seeing the little like toy poodles and stuff as <laughs> guard dogs. I think it's hilarious. Uh, but if we go on to the rest of this stuff. Large size, we have a million bucks. We might as well build a giant one. No starting funds, zero, because, well, we are bringing a million dollars with us. Just keep the default plot. I'm going to keep a weather turned off. Don't want to mess with gangs in a giant, huge prison. Uh, but the dynamic reputations thing is very intriguing, which is uh, maybe something we could play into trying to do escape mode or something like that. Uh, I think I'm just going to turn this to medium. Let's just check sure uh, what all this is saying here. It says prisoners started with dynamic reputations is low. Reputations are gained at an average rate. Number of legendary prisoners is moderate. All right, cool. Uh, the rest of this stuff is just kind of, you know, what it is. I don't really uh, want to mess with too much of that stuff. And we, we can also, you know, turn some of this stuff on later. DLC settings, uh, you know, just regular whatever. Criminally insane inmates, we had those, and we're going to have space to actually build a proper asylum wing, so that's fine. And then uh, prisoner transfers, I like that, to kind of motivate guys to behave, uh, shall you say. Uh, mutators, I don't I don't want to mess with uh, too much of this stuff, but we might turn some of those on later. Uh, again, this is, this is all stuff we can get to at some other point in time. But we'll go ahead and hit play. If I can actually click, there we go. Alright, so, this is our large plot. Uh, obviously, we can buy more when we get into bureaucracy. Oh, I can't even click on this yet until we actually build something. Uh, but the idea behind the million dollar prison was, uh, as a couple of you guys suggested in the comments of the last series, why don't we just make a bunch of smaller prisons that each have every single thing the inmates need, but they're separated by uh, prisoner grade, minimum security, medium security, max, etc., because you have a lot of problems when you mix these guys together. Don't want to don't want to do too much too much of that stuff. Uh, but right now we've got our deliveries, we've got our garbage, and that's pretty much it. We just have this big open expanse of land. And of course, I'm going to uh, take a moment here to just measure out how all of this is situated here. 158 meters right there and I think I think that was saying that the, uh, like right at the, uh, the S in deliveries. Well, we're not, we're not going to get too anal retentive about it. I just want to make sure we have enough space here. We can actually, you know, have stuff, uh, around the outside. We've got one, two, three, four right here, and then five on the sidewalk. I'll leave a further three. And then, uh, this, this space right here, or we'll call it, we'll call it right here. Will be a double door for our new uh, our new admin building, so that's going to be where the center of that's going to go. So we'll just come up here, kind of like we did before. We have, uh, I guess we'll do 20, 20 by twenty to start. And plan these things out just a touch. Uh, of course, our offices have to be four by four on the inside. So if we were to do that, we'd have one there, we'd have one here, we'd have one here and that's going to not give us quite enough space so if that's going to be the case ah it's not gonna let me do it not gonna let me do it so i'll just have to manually uh click individual things so that's always that's always fun right all right so that's 20 20 by 21 will give us width wise space to make four offices and this is obviously when we start out it's going to have to have a bunch of stuff in it but eventually Eventually, I think we just want to have offices in here. We can continue to expand past, etc., so on and so forth. But admin building here, 
maybe a little bit of uh, reception, whatever, down at the bottom. And then since we have so much space, we don't really have to have everything match perfectly in terms of symmetry. It, it sure is nice to have stuff look good, but uh, we're going to keep expanding the map, I am sure, and having all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, of course, across the road here when we get there, uh, Supermax, Death Row, etc. can go on this side, but right now we kind of just need a place where things can exist, right? So we have admin stuff here, a little bit of the uh, early game stuff, and then we have to have, of course, our other buildings for support structures here. I like to leave these three wide uh, bits. If I do right here, we'll just check our utilities stuff here. Uh, power station right there, and then the uh, water right here will actually work perfectly well. So little utilities. Uh, we'll put another one right here just for the sake of the symmetry because it's fun. And that was seven. Yeah, there we go. And now we have this nice six wide here. Doesn't necessarily have to be this big, but that is going to give us some space uh, to put in a couple other things later on. So uh, storage, most likely, utilities, admin stuff, and then uh, since we have such a big thing, again, stuff is going to be all separated out anyhow, but I kind of like the idea of having a, a large central building for some things like the, uh, the workshop and other things that are eventually going to become relevant. So if we just kind of make a space here, say 20 by 40, that can be a pretty, uh, pretty good early game thing for that. And of course, we'll have to have a holding cell. And we will get all that stuff taken care of eventually. But you got to start somewhere, reconfigure, move stuff around. You know how the game works. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Let's put in some doors here. Uh, of course, the large jail door being the most uh, important thing for us to put in here. So, you know, guys can actually come in and out. And then staff door in the utility area. This is an even-sided thing, so it's not really going to be a... Uh, Big deal, but we'll put uh, put that on that side, that on that side. I get these guys in here to build. We only have eight workmen. We have a ton of money, so uh, okay, yeah, there there goes all that money. But let's bring a bunch of dudes in here. Ah, the daily budget limit. I have 19 workmen. Well, workmen, it's time to uh, time to get working here. Let's turn off intake for right now because we literally do not have any cells. And we'll let these guys get to work. They have to unload all their trucks and everything. As one does. But now, now, now we're getting somewhere. So we'll let these guys uh, construct these. And then we'll come back and put in all of the uh, trimmings once the buildings are actually uh, built. But I do need to make sure I turn off auto lights. Because <laughs> I just hate how they look. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's annoying. I'd rather just manually put the lights in. So we'll just time lapse through this and we'll see what happens when we come out of that. All right, so that's our first four buildings constructed here. As you can see, there are no lights. It's glorious, etc. cetera. Uh, let's go ahead and put in our power station and our uh, water pump station. We'll just pop that guy right there. And then the power station can go right here. Of course, we'll have to have some uh, capacitors, which we, I guess, can't put in until the power station's installed. That's fine. That's that's typically what ends up happening anyway. So we have space here. We need to have a warden office, which would be right there. And at the very beginning, we don't really need any other ones. But this will get us started. These four right here. Uh, if we take a look at our different rooms here and make sure these are uh, alphabetized so I can find stuff. We have different uh, things that are still locked, but the staff room which should be down here, does have a minimum size of four by four. So we can't we can't just have like a, a long, thin strip here. So this is just for right now, going to kind of be an open space. It's going to change later on, but we, we need to actually, you know, get somewhere first. So staff door there, staff door there, you know the drill. We're making offices, we're hiring all of our dudes and ladies, I guess, but probably mostly dudes. And then, you know, I organized this alphabetically so I could find stuff and I, you know, still did it wrong. That's fine. All right. Offices. Warden gets the first office, as always. 
Uh, we've got a bunch of different stuff we can do. We got office chairs, but I think we have fancy desks. So yeah, it's fancy. So fancy right here. Um, what side was that supposed to be on? I guess this one's fine. But we'll give we'll give him the fancy desk. Big important fancy warden. And then fancy filing cabinets. You know the drill. Let's see if I can do there we go. Fancy. Fancy filing cabinet. Yep, so that's the warden's office. Uh, other staff members we don't have yet. And we actually have to hire the warden. We haven't gotten him yet. I just I wanted to have a bunch of uh, workers the first uh, day or two, so we could you know actually construct things quickly. Then we got to get guards and cooks and all that other fun stuff. But we're not we're not quite at the point where we are desperately desperately needing all that stuff yet. So we have all the space down here. Let's go ahead and uh, for the time being just have a pretty simple setup with a uh, reception and a holding cell, but let's make it with the future in mind. We're going to have stuff like parole and visitation, and these things, uh, visitation doesn't have a minimum size, but I'm pretty sure parole does. And yeah, that's a five by five. So if we were to set this up, we would make this the parole room. So we're going to make that same area currently the reception, because the reception, I believe, is going to end up moving. At least... Uh, the way I have stuff planned out. I kind of want to have different receptions for different uh, categories of prisoners. Uh, but reception here is going to work out nicely. Uh, we are going to have the holding cell just be a temporary uh, massing of prisoners while we get stuff up. Because we can't hire staff. We can have as much money to build whatever we want. But we can't hire staff until the daily cash flow is high enough. So we are going to have to kind of have an intermediary thing going on here. Yeah, so that was... There we go. That's got to go there with jail doors, as one does. Just pop that there, pop that there. We have this nice big space. So when we finally do start bringing prisoners in, uh, we need to make sure that that is set up appropriately. Now the holding cell is going to have minimum 5x5, five five, so that's not going to be an issue. This is a big holding cell. We're going to probably, for the time being, at least have a bunch of dudes in there. We can make it smaller later, but again, early game has different stuff we've got to take care of just to make, you know, stuff viable. So objects in the holding cell, we have to have it, well, it has to be enclosed, first of all. They're not quite there yet. Uh, toilets and bench. You know, you want you want them to be able to sleep, too. That's kind of not optional uh, to have guys actually just sleeping. So I'll put some beds in here. Uh, we, we can't just, like, you know, stack them up like this, but, you know, what's the... Uh, What's the fun in that, right? Give people uh, some some sort of modicum of privacy. I'm actually gonna remove the wall so I can do that. Yeah, we'll put we'll put the door kind of in the uh, the center here. There we go. That that's a little bit nicer. And then of course we have to have you know the standard stuff: toilets. We'll just put five of those in there. Why not? And then uh, I think one of the early ones actually is going to require us to have uh, a separate shower room, but we don't have to actually use it. So, you know the drill. Stack the toilet, the shower head, and the drain all on top of each other. And then it says we have to have a bench. So, a bench we will have. And there we go. Holding cell that's going to have a capacity for, I don't know, math, 14 dudes. We'll take it. That'll work. And you know the drill. We'll run our power kind of uh, around like so. So a nice, easy access to stuff. Uh, bring this in through here. And then bring this in all the way down here. Yeah, just get this nice and easily hooked up. Then water pipes can be kind of the same deal. Except I don't need to run them absolutely everywhere. I just have to have pipes close enough to have access. Oh, I can't build that underneath the power thing. Alright, well that's fine. We'll just pop this in here and hook that up like so. So now that's taken care of. We've got stuff for a holding cell. We have an office. We can't hire the warden yet because all of our dudes are uh, eating up all of our budget, but that's okay. We're working on it. we got lights to go in next. So reception... Nice and easy, pop that in 
like so. And then we'll do the same thing here. The lights are actually pretty cheap, so we might as well might as well take full advantage of the ability to pop those in there. And then nobody can call me the Prince of Darkness because now we have lights. Although, to be perfectly honest with you, it is kind of funny when that happens. <laughs> it, it, it ends up being pretty entertaining. Alright, now up here I said I was going to make storage. Uh, we can early on make it kind of a combo storage uh, janitorial closet, but I think we have to unlock. Yeah, we have to unlock that. So for right now, it can just be storage. They'll put all sorts of stuff there that we're going to have to have, and so on and so forth. Let's turbo boost this. I get them coming in here. And just make sure before sunrise, we have this set to do some intake. Ah, see, now now we need these capacitors coming in. Yeah, that is, uh, that thing is struggling. So let's, uh, let's just for right now bring two of those in. That's flashing. It's going to go off. Can't handle all those lights at once. And what is this waiting? Oh, a canteen. Okay. Yeah, the reception. Ah, there it goes. <laughs> we'll get that fixed. Uh, but the reception does have to have stuff actually set up. So we have, we can do a table small if we want. We could do a small table there. We could actually have a couple different tables. Uh, move around and then uh, the chair. I like the idea of putting the chair off to the side like this. That's kind of kind of nice. There we go. There's your uh, reception room. It's ready to receive. Do we have the uh, capacitors? No, they're not installed. These guys are just, you know, walking up and down this giant empty room with currently nothing to do. But we'll get that all figured out. Uh, we need to have a kitchen and a canteen at the very least so these guys, you know, uh, don't starve to death. Seems kind of a, kind of an important thing to do. So we take a look at our rooms here. Uh, I believe the canteen doesn't even have to be inside. But the kitchen, as tempting as it is, this doesn't say inside either. As tempting as it is to just, you know, pop something outside and say, all right, put a, put a refrigerator and a, and a stove in the dirt. There's your kitchen. Uh, there's going to be knives and stuff we don't want the prisoners to have access to. So, unfortunately, uh, we do need to... Uh, we do need to kind of keep this cordoned off, so to speak. So we'll uh, we'll put a little wall around this. Staff door only. Um, take a look at how we want to have stuff set up here. I think, let's see if I did that way, no. I'll just put this in the middle, it's fine. Because the stuff that has to go in the kitchen all has specific uh, dimensions that has to go in. And none of this is really going to match too well anyway, but I am going to put two sinks right there. And then, of course, we have to have cookers for uh, cookering. There we go. Three cookers there. Fridges. You know the drill. I never remember which side of the, is the front, but I'm, I can only assume it's this guy. Yeah, I just I want to make sure I'm not, uh, not making stuff that looks super, super ugly. Uh, garbage thing right there. And then we don't have to have tables set up anywhere, but I do I do like the aesthetic of just having tables uh, in the middle of the kitchen. It just makes it look a little bit more organized, a little bit more cared for. And that's that. So we have to, of course, uh, run power into here. And then the sink does require a uh, pipe going into it. So I'll just pop that there. That should take care of that. And I think we can turn this back on. Yep. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely wondrous. And that's saying it doesn't have any... Uh, ah, that's right, because this doesn't have any uh, any wires close enough. Alright, well that works okay. That will be fine there. Uh, I can't put in lights from the utilities panel. It kind of would be nice if you could, but that's fine. We'll just pop in our normal light distribution there. That's A-OK. -okay. The rest of this space, we haven't really decided exactly what's going to go in there right now. But uh, we do we do have to have, at the very least, a canteen. So, for the time being, that's what's going to go there. Make it nice and simple, and we'll make it look a little bit better later. It may be the million dollar prison, but we literally can't hire enough staff to run a giant complex until everything is all situated good to go. 
So, um, that's turned around the wrong way. Can I fit two of these here? No, I cannot. Well, not going to lose sleep over it. If I just put, uh, if I just put this right here, I think that's probably going to be enough. At least for right now. I'll put a little bin right there. And then table-wise, want to make sure we have enough space for circulation. I don't, I don't think the game really cares that much. But the prisoners probably do. You don't want them to be too crowded now, do you? So we'll leave them a little bit of space to go around. And the, the amount of prisoners we're going to have early on, it, it really shouldn't matter. So now it is 11.40 eh, p.m. Uh, we have most of the stuff installed that needs to be installed, so I think... Yeah, we got to go into staff. Let's fire... Take that down to 10 staff. we got to hire a warden. There we go. And then we're going to have to have at least a couple guards. I'll start with uh, five guards. And we'll have uh, two cooks. And that should be most of our uh, most of our budget for a day. And I think that's going to be fine. Now we have to go into intake uh, to start out with. I'm only going to take minimum security prisoners, says Phil to Zero. Uh, all available is two. So I guess uh, I guess we'll just take the two. It got us to got to start somewhere, right? And once we get these guys in, we can you know keep on uh, keep on doing with other stuff. But uh, see, why does this say? Oh, because it doesn't have the table and the bench installed yet. All right. Well, that's fine. They'll get that. Uh, they'll get that figured out. Did we get the water pipes? Ah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't actually hook that up. Okay. But they're going to come in uh, in about six and a half hours. Guards will process them, and then we have our two dudes just chilling in the holding cell. And as soon as they have uh, no canteens accessible... Oh, okay. All right. No, I, f I forgot. I gotta <laughs> We got to have access to the outside world from this thing, man. Let's, uh, let's do that. And then just for right now, just for right now... We'll put in a fence here, a fence here, a fence here, and a fence here, uh, so they can get into this whole area. Obviously, this this is here for reasons, but I'm gonna I'm gonna lock it shut. There we go, so they can't actually get out. They'll build those fences, and that should keep the prisoners relatively uh, relatively isolated. So now we have a choice. We have a choice. Uh, in the middle of the night here, so you can't really see much. We got a ton of money. We could just go ahead and build the perimeter wall. We can always demolish it later. We just go ahead and do the entire perimeter wall encircling everything and just not have to worry about it for quite some time. But uh, I don't know if I want to drop the cash right this second. On the other hand, it's very, uh, very appealing. Like if, if we were to do this, let's just go all the way out here. Uh, yeah, that is $138,000. No, uh, let's let's not do that. This is two hundred dollars a square. Now the regular fence, mind you, is going to be substantially cheaper. The entire starting large plot would be just shy of twenty one hundred bucks. I think I can live with that. So we'll have we'll have them build a fence. It's going to take them a while to do it, but uh, we do want them to have access to that. Now we got our two uh, minimum security dudes, and they're here. And they can just kind of do whatever they want. Actually, you know what? I don't have... Um... Okay, they have lunch at 1 and then dinner at 8. I do like the three square meals a day thing. I think that's nice to do. So I just want to make sure that this is going to be set up correctly here at 11 p.m. Uh, we can have eat. There we go. 8 to 10, we got 3 hours, and then dinner at 8 is a little late, so we'll do, uh, we'll do this. I actually, I also don't have a yard for them to go into. I think because this is enclosed, I might be able to make this count as a yard. It does say minimum 5 by 5. So I guess that's going to be, uh, that's going to be yard space. I don't really have anything in there, but at least there is somewhere for them to go. Yep, and they've got food, so that's progressing there. Uh, yeah, we got eight more guys coming tomorrow, so before we get there, let's just go ahead 
I'm going to pop in some lights here just above the tables so they're not completely in the dark. And then uh, we're going to have to start getting some other guys in here. We just don't have the daily cash flow yet to really do uh, too much of anything. And these guys with the other eight, like 10, 10 minimum security prisoners in a holding cell is not going to cause problems for a, a little while. But we gotta we got to get this other stuff going. So, of course... We have all these grants and everything we got to get into. Uh, basic detention center is we've more or less done all of it except to build a shower. So the easiest way, and I don't, I don't really have a de having a dedicated shower room, but the easiest way to do that is first of all to actually remember where stuff goes, and then just pop that there. It it, it doesn't say the shower head has to work. It just has to have a shower head. And if I could find it, there it is. So we'll um we'll just have him build a shower head in the middle of the, in the middle of the yard. <laughs> That's gonna satisfy this grant and we'll be done. So they'll take care of that. And I guess we can go ahead and speed this up so that can get accomplished. The world's most useless, pointless, stupid shower right here. And there we go. And guess what? It's about to go away. Let's dismantle it and uh, get that room out of here. All right. Did I uh, undismantle? I think it did. Cool. So I'll take care of that. Now it's yard time. Are they going to actually take them out to the yard? I guess they're not. Okay. Well, they don't. They're not mandated to go in the yard. Oh, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't put any uh any lights in the warden's office. Now we have the opportunity because it's it's a lamp here. What other kind of lights? I you know I never actually like search for this. We got lights, we got light green, light red, not light green, light red is in like different shades, but light, parentheses green, red, lamp, floodlight, unmanned searchlight, wall light. That's a bulldozer. Um, I like the idea of the warden's office having the lamp because I think that's uh, that's classy. But if it's just in the corner, it's not really uh, not really ideal. We're gonna be we're gonna be extra and we're gonna put four lights in all these offices because you know it's it's not an office. Unless you have soul-sucking white walls, super bright 6,500K fluorescent light bulbs, and this really annoying like humming from the light fixtures. That's an office. That That's that's what I know is an office, at least. Uh, we, can, we can't really hire anybody else yet except a psychiatrist, but we also don't have any insane inmates. So, to bureaucracy we go. Yeah, we got to unlock all sorts of fun stuff here. I think first, probably, probably should be security. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Prison policy is also important, so we'll do that one next. And then take a look at what the rest of our grants are we're going to want to get into. Uh, administration Center is going to have to have us unlock finance and hire an accountant. Inmate health and well-being requires doctors. Prison maintenance requires, uh, well, maintenance. All this other stuff. The staff well-being initiative is going to have a, a requirement for us to have more guards than we currently do, so uh, we'll wait on that. Got a we got a while to uh, to figure stuff out. I'm not going to really rush my way through this, but look, we're doing some research. Oh uh, yeah, look at us! Look at us go! We're researching security by wandering around and uh, staring at a clipboard in our fancy office with the fancy chair and the fancy desk and the fancy filing cabinets. You love to see it. Yeah, so these guys probably bored out of their minds. <laughs> All these workmen coming in here. Uh, did they actually build a fence? Nice, they did. So, uh, we remember from last time how the uh, contraband has, I guess, a distance of 10 because they've got, they got NFL quarterbacks out here hucking stuff over the fence. So, uh, let's count, because I love math so much. Let's count 10 squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll go one more. And that's going to be where that goes. And then, of course, uh, on this side, it's not going to let me do too much of anything because of the road. But if I leave myself 10 spaces in between, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, there we go. I did 11. I did 11. That is illegal. It doesn't match unless this is also 11. Nope. 
Nope, 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 nope. That that did not work. So we'll have to uh we'll have to just do this again. I know how much you guys love when I do this stuff twice, but the the distance matters, okay? It matters to me. There we go. Ten is the distance between, not ten plus one. Five is right out, etc. Okay, so this is one. That's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we have our dual layer fence here. And it's gonna be really hard to keep stuff out of uh out of this thing right here unless we have another line of fence here, which I think is probably going to be the easiest way to do that. We did leave this uh, four four deep spot here, so if we if we have this fence come up here, we can kind of uh, kind of accomplish the same thing that we were thinking about. As long as the prisoners don't go outside of this other fence here. And again, it's minimum security, dudes. Right now, I don't think it really matters. Uh. Fence gate, in theory, in theory, the fence gate should not be as strong as the jail door. I think the game doesn't really care, but I'm going to put the large jail door here. And by the time they're done putting all this in, we'll be in a pretty decently secure space. The idea with the early game fence that we're doing here is just to, you know, stop contraband from being thrown into the prison. And that should, in theory should allow us to accomplish that goal. Now, have we researched? No, because I'm still at single time speed. Okay, security here. Can take another four hours. Uh, I have prison policy after that, uh, which is going to help uh, with a lot of managerial stuff. And then finance, I'm going to queue up after that. So we're going to go ahead. I don't think there's any, uh, any current cause for alarm in terms of uh, feeding prisoners or anything, so I think we're just fine. Can let these guys do what they need to do, get back into their holding cell, and then go take a sleep. Yeah, so now we, we kind of can't do too much else unless we start want to uh, build cell blocks or something like that. Uh, but I do want to get a couple more of these grants accomplished. The administration center is going to take a little while. Uh, but security, security procedure certification, that's a nice 20,000, not that we need the money, but uh, <laughs> it's a nice uh, it's a nice thing to get out of the way early. Uh, 10 guards is going to take us a little while to get to, but don't forget we're getting the, uh, we're getting the other prisoners coming in, so we're going to have a little bit higher of a, uh, a daily cash flow. And probably the other easiest thing to do is going to be, uh, let's see... Uh, staff well-being, maybe, if I can find a place to put a staff room. So we'll do that. Now, the staff room, to get the grant actually finished, it's not going to uh, require me to keep it. But uh, I think we do want to eventually have a staff room going. So uh, what we can do for right now is we can actually turn this office into a staff room and just put a couple of things in there. Now we have a... Uh, a need for a sofa, a wide sofa, a wooden stool. Yeah, there you go. Go to the staff room, sit on the wooden stool. That sounds like a uh, sounds like a good time. Uh, drink machine. Pop that guy in there, and that is the minimum requirement for a staff room. As soon as that's done, assuming they can actually put the machine in. There we go. So that's that grant complete. We got more guys coming in. Take a look at the rest of these uh, right now. Administration center is probably the one we need to do next, but, um, oh, no, finance is next. All right, cool. So we, we will do administration center. All right, and then accountant obviously has to come later, but we can go ahead and we can get, we can get the, uh, other offices set up in their boring manner here. I will do the nice office chairs, though. We'll, we'll allow them to have, have nice office chairs. So that'll work out. That'll be our security chief and our accountant as soon as we have the ability to... Uh, yeah, I, I can't hire him yet. Yet being the operative term. We're going to get there. And we'll go ahead and get that set up right like so. 
Uh, you know, I probably should have more guards to uh, let these guys in and out. Did they finish the fence already? Nice. So in theory, in theory, we should be mostly contraband proof at this time. Obviously, it gets harder the, uh, the longer you go. But as soon as we get these new guys coming in, in half an hour, then our daily budget should should go up, and then we can start to hire these other guys. Uh, we get more guards, get the accountant hired, and then complete that stuff. And then we'll see what we uh, want to get into next for all of that. Oh yeah, now they're doing all the searching and everything, looking good. I guess some of these guys have a uh, contraband they found. I don't, I don't see anybody in shackles, so maybe that was just the temporary thing. Yep, there we go. Oh, and tomorrow we got 24 coming in. I'm, I'll tell you what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to have 24 guys in addition to the 10 that are already here. That's going to be bad news in a holding cell. So let's go ahead. Intake-wise, um, total prisoners. It's already 8. I mean, I, could, I said I could do 14 because I have 14 beds. So that's what we'll do. We'll go total 14. Uh, looks like we can hire an accountant now if we have the cash for it. Um, yep, accountant office right there. And then the chief, I can also do. Nice. Too many prisoners in our holding cells. You don't say. That, that was never a permanent plan, my dude. Ten prisoners are currently without their own cell. We're working on it. We're going we're, we're gonna to have a nice cell block. And we're going to take the time to do it correctly. We're going to take suggestions from the people who watch these videos about what they want to see. Which is why I haven't done it yet. I want to give you guys a little bit uh, a little bit more input in this one. Because it is the million dollar prison after all. I want something to look nice. Is that just a head of cabbage on the floor? Why do you like this, man? That's food. Don't, don't put it. Is that bacon? It is. Don't put that on the floor. It's not being respectful. All right. So we have to have 10 guards to get the security procedure uh, certification. We have to unlock patrols. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then we have to assign three guards to patrol routes. Can I... Uh, can I actually get up to 10? I can. Perfect. All right. So that's looking good. I think the, uh, the patrols shouldn't take too long to research. Yeah, that's going to be... Okay, never mind. That was like a six-hour thing. So that's working out kind of okay. I've got four more guys coming tomorrow. The uh, place is looking pretty dingy, pretty dirty. Take a look at our grants here again. Uh, we can do prison maintenance. Uh, but we have to research that, and that is going to take a little bit of time. Uh, we have to hire a foreman. That's going to require another office, which means we have to have a staff room. But I think, honestly, the uh, easiest way to solve that is we can have a dedicated maintenance building and the foreman can have their office there. There's no rule that says all the offices have to be in the same place in the prison. I, I just have ended up doing that most of the time. But if we have a maintenance building specifically uh, for that, we can have a foreman, we can have the uh, janitorial stuff, laundry, etc. At least for right now. In theory, if we want to be super... Uh, super up with the times we could have like i was saying earlier the uh completely separate prison prisons within prisons and everything being completely self-contained i don't know if we want to really get too into that necessarily uh but i think we can go ahead and do patrols yeah not like there's much to why is this flashing now if i really wanted to waste guards time i'd have them go all the way all the way around here. So instead, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a, uh, a patrol route here, and I'll assign a guard to that. I don't, I don't want to have him patrolling in the holding cell. So maybe, uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll just have one in the canteen, just uh, kind of chilling right there. And then, uh, for right now, for right now, we'll put a patrol here. Uh, the other advantage of the patrols is that it will, uh, have a guard in the general vicinity of doors, depending on how you have it set up. So you don't have to have somebody come from halfway across the prison to unlock a door. Because we, you know, haven't unlocked the automatic doors yet. 
But that takes care of that. And then next, next we can get into some stuff that's gonna require a little bit more thinking, a little bit more uh, discussion about how we wanna have stuff laid out. But we can go ahead and just start the process of getting these grants so we know what we're uh, supposed to be looking at here. Uh, cell block A is an easy one. That's probably one of the first ones we should be doing. Now, health and well-being is going to require uh, doctor stuff. And that's going to have to have an office for a psychologist. So that's going to probably need to be a separate uh, separate area, separate building. Uh, visitation rights. That's something we can put in once uh, we have actual cell blocks. We can, uh, we can turn part of this into visitation or parole or something like that. And the rest of this, uh, let's see. Governmental security ratings, that requires dogs. And then investments, don't really care about the money right now because, well, we started with a million bucks. So I think that's, uh, uh, that's probably, probably a good spot to leave it, at least for right now. Uh, I will go ahead and get the prison maintenance one started. That's what we're going to work on next in uh, the next episode of this one. So this is where you guys come in. Uh, if you have any specific things you want to see in terms of cell block design, overall prison design, uh, what have you, now's the time to let me know in the comments before we start building stuff because we're, we're not going to want to change too much. But uh, I do want to see what you guys uh, are interested in uh, having put in here different things if you have design ideas etc uh, because as i always say it is a let's play not a watch me play the game so look forward to your input there and obviously appreciate all of the uh support on the previous two series have done really really well we're having a good time playing this game so i figured you know what let's start another one even though the game keeps getting delayed we might as well i've got day slots open currently trying to hold off on starting a new timberborn completely new in vanilla until we get a new update because it's been eight months since the last one and we're pretty overdue for that but uh, i digress i appreciate you just the same whatever games it is that we're playing beard boosters as well i didn't say that already uh, makes it possible to do stuff like this that isn't just beavers because it seems that youtube pretty much only wants to recommend my beaver videos which is fine timberborn's a fun game but there's other good stuff too and i want to make sure that we can have a little bit of variety so uh, again, let me know what you want to see with this one, and uh, we'll be back again soon for another episode. Don't know exactly when. This might end up being just once a week on Thursdays, but if there's substantial demand, we might do two episodes a week for the first little bit. But yep, that's it. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll look forward to your feedback and ideas, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.